He has a 1-1 count. That one struck high. Left side. That one's going. That's right here off the side. You have to be kidding me. It's a Monday. It's high and tight, which means we've got rankings. My name is Caden and obviously with Andrew Brown, the creator of High and Tight. Be sure to check out his show uh, later this week. I believe we're going to record a little something for you guys. Baseball is back. Class 2A baseball is back more specifically. And we've got our first updated ranking since the preseason. We're finally seeing these teams play ball. We're able to slot them up and down. And speaking of up and down, we've got Two new teams this week in Class 2A finding themselves inside of our top 16. Uh, Class 2A fans, you guys are a few of the lucky ones because the other class is at 15, but our 2A ranker decided to give you a bonus one. We got a number 16 oh. for you. Speaking of, let's get right into it. 16 through 11, we're wasting no time, Andrew, getting right into it. Pella Christian, welcome to the rankings as well as Roland Story, but... As we get going, I'm gonna lead into you, you for rolling story, Andrew. But my team that I really liked in this section, Des Moines Christian, they popped <laughs> off to me. Uh, they they surprised me personally. Brady Isenhart fanned 11 in the season opener uh, against Kemper and and uh, uh, Jack. Actually, no, that's that's Andrew. That was a typo on our ranker. It was Andrews fanned 11 in the season opener against Kempner and freshman Jack Isenhart fanned another 11 versus Colfax Mingo. So a two and zero start for Des Moines Christian, a team. Full of youth, uh, and, and they're off to a fast start, which is always good for those teams that are a little younger. Uh, but Andrew, that's not the team that you want to talk about. You want to talk about Roland Story five and zero. I mean, you can't complain. Yeah. Well, ripping off five wins like that, it really puts a spotlight on them. Of course, they have not one, not two, but three freshmen in their top four RBI producers, which tells a lot. You know, it tells a lot about the experience that they have, but also these young guys are there. So you're going to get that mix, and this is a team that's ready, roaring, and has a lot of energy to go, man. This is exciting, and the way they do it, again, coming through the first week, a lot of a lot of teams, a lot of programs have guys at this, that, golf, soccer, track, what have you. And you know what? Rolling Story still comes out and dominates. So if there's a question mark about if they were at full strength then, there's, there's going to be no questions going further. And they're just going to get even better. So that is something that's truly impressive. Roland Story deserves, I think, to be at 12. I like him there, but certainly I think that their ceiling is a lot higher than that. Absolutely. Speaking of the other teams, I don't want to ignore them. At number 15, Dyke, New Hartford. No action yet. I had a typo right here on our screen, Andrew. I am 0 for 2, Class 1A and Class 2A. I've had a typo on each. It is Sunday night. It is late. 3A, I'm going to try for zero typ typos, but there's no there problems. 15, that is Dyke, New Hartford. Uh, yep. that is a, that is a typo, uh, at number 13 West Lion, They also have not started off their action yet. Uh, they will get going against George Little Rock on Tuesday and Woodward Granger at number 11. They stay there at that spot with a 16 to one win over South central Calhoun. Let's get right into the top 10 though. In class two, I hoping for no typos here. looks good to me. Uh, Animosa, uh, they, they haven't started yet. They started opening opening night. Yep. A lot of a lot of promise there. Uh, Central Decatur, they haven't got started yet. Neither has Cascade. So those three teams all hold ground. And Pleasantville and Mid Prairie, they drop each drop one spot, but that is not at their fault. We just had a team leap them. So that happens obviously in these rankings. Sometimes you win your games, but another team impresses just a little bit more. And we're that early in the season where where the wins kind of kind of mean a ton in these rankings. So Mid Prairie and Pleasantville off to good starts, no doubt. They just drop one spot in these rankings to make room for somebody in our top five, who we will reveal here shortly. So yes, we have a new team inside of our top five. Hang on and check out who it is. Uh, the first team though at number five is no change. They did drop two spots. But it is Van Meter. Uh, they got revenge on Newman Catholic from last year's opener, but they did fail the ADM. Two and one start here for uh, Van Meter, Andrew. Uh, uh, some new faces here, and uh, obviously they're they're learning to play with each other. What have you seen from the Bulldogs? Well, what I see is this is a team that's starting off aggressive. 
and wants to keep that pace. You know, coach, you know, coach uh, has done a great job of that. The coaching staff, I should say, I don't want to single one out, but uh, this has been certainly a team that's historically been on top of things, had a lot of talent, and just a lot of guys who have been there for for several years, like the plague and cools of the world, the more is you got them more on there right now, but there have been guys that have been on the varsity roster for several years. Now you kind of get in that, right? You, you get away from that just a little bit. And so I think that uh, you're going to start strong. And I, you know, there, this is really nitpicking at this point, really. Van oh, yeah. Meter again, you know, the, you know, losing to Newman Catholic, Newman Catholic can beat anybody across any class. You know, and, and they came out, had a good one there, and they avenged that. But again, ADM, they're they, you know they're a strong team, and they're a strong team in the overall ranking side of things. So yeah, I like I like Van Meter where they're at, and certainly they have the chance, like they did last year, to kind of vault them way up. And uh, yeah, I, there's no way you can count Van Meter out. They I think they earned the respect of a top ten. Absolutely. Well, Van Meter dropped so that this next team could jump them, Andrew. They weren't my team of the week, but they could very well be yours if you so choose. Esterville, Lincoln yes. Central. My goodness. 21 team, 21 win team last year. Uh, and they're off to a hot start, including a win over Unity Christian, a team I really like here in this class. Not ranked yet, but definitely on the outside looking directly in. Uh 4 0 start for the midgets. Andrew, a ton to like. And of course, 15 strikeouts from Owen Larson, who, by the way, uh, I I really hope one of these days that he will do both basketball and baseball. He's a basketball <laughs> commit, I believe, for the University of South Dakota State. Uh, man, he is a phenomenal just an athlete. But yeah, this team had one had twenty one wins last year, and they could very well earn back to back to back conference titles if they could go ahead and pull off another good season this year. Uh, I was what I was worried, man. How would they respond? Coach Evans has put them in such a great position, always does, and he doesn't shy away from the competition, and that's why you see them. I think in large part up here because they're going to play those teams that validate their schedule to no end. Absolutely. Well, Estrell Lincoln Central at four. They are your new team inside the top five. We also had a team rise inside the top five, and it was my personal team of the week west marshall my goodness the tear they are Woo. on to start this year we were excited andrew for that opening day yeah. game against williamsburg uh, a game that was one to nothing a loss for west marshall last year uh i think they took that personally because they came out of the <laughs> gates 12 to 2 over williamsburg i i maybe would have picked west marshall to win that game but 12 to 2 i don't i wouldn't i would not have guessed that one coming adding to that a 8 nothing win over grinnell uh, a 12 to 2 win over south tama and a 16 0 and 15 0 win in a double header against denver west marshall is scorching hot their team i love and a 5 and 0 start in week one uh well deserved raise in this week's rankings yeah and the way they get off offensively there you know how many times do we see teams start off sluggish with the bat and just it, it goes towards and again they started a little bit that way in game one but when they go on a tear like that and you can pick it up that quickly ooh, there's something special in that work so i think this is a program that yeah you and i were very high on before and i think we're i think we're gonna pat ourselves on the back here because this is a team that obviously has proven us and many people right and they'll continue to do so absolutely really excited to follow west marshall the rest of the year <laughs> hopping into our top two where as you can see We've got no change in the top two. Our number one will hold ground for another week, even though they did not play. Starting here, though, Beckman Catholic, 2-1 and one start. Can't knock them at all for that loss to Western Dubuque. And in fact, I think they've got two really, really impressive wins uh, to add to that in 4A North Scott and 3A West Delaware. Beckman Catholic, Andrew, we talked time and time again. They test themselves early in the year, and here they are doing it at week one, and they're off to a really solid start. Yeah, I mean, and by the way, they've got the comfort of home coming up. Nine straight home games for them, Oof. and Oof. that is something that that's a that's going to be a benefit because they play great at home. And yeah, you, you're right. Two four A squad or a four A squad in North Scott, three A West Delaware, picking up wins there. You can't fault them for losing to the three A champ in Western Dubuque. Uh, it was just one of those games. But man, they're averaging what nearly eight runs per game and. They have the they have the combo of Thayer and Sigworth, and I like what they're doing. Twelve hits combined, sixteen total bases. But 
yeah, this is a this is a fun team, and Coach Mabe and company will have no problem again this year. Second year in the new conference, they're going to run the tables again, and I think we'll very much see them in uh, in the state tournament. Absolutely, they were one of those teams, one of those state champs that kind of lost a lot but returned to core. You don't know who's going to fill in. Obviously, they're finding guys to fill in just fine. Uh, excited to follow Beckman Catholic the rest of the way, and as you can see. No surprise then. Underwood find themselves at number one. Honestly, nothing to talk about here. The Eagles haven't even played a game. We've talked about them plenty in the preseason. So if you want to hear us go talk about Underwood, go listen to the old high and tights. Andrew and I, we're out of here. Class 2A fans, we appreciate you for tuning in. Go check out the other rankings, 1A, 3A, and 4A. Become an Iowa high school baseball fan this year. It is Sunday night. We've got more classes to cover. Class 2A fans, we'll see you next Monday.